We know that the federal government, quite honestly, is too big. The deficit sitting at somewhere around $36 trillion, maybe $35 trillion. You can correct me if I'm wrong down in the comment section. Uh, the number of agencies that we have that comprise the federal government, it's, 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 honestly, it's too big. And one of the things that Donald Trump proposed during the 2024 campaign is the Department of Government Efficiency, otherwise known as Doge. No, not the coin, not the token, but a way to cut the federal government to decrease the deficit. So before I get into that, just want to say thank you to everybody. Thank you to everyone that watches my videos, checks out my channel. Um, if you like what I'm doing, like the things I'm covering, every, everything from pop, pop culture to what's going on in Hollywood, entertainment, now even a little bit of more of news and politics, uh, give me a thumbs up, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And also, too, before you leave, leave a comment in the comment section down below. These things really help out with the YouTube algorithm. Tells YouTube, hey, this guy's putting out some decent content. We need to promote him. We need to get his message out there. So with that out of the way, back to the video. This is from the Post Millennial. Breaking, Trump announces creation of Doge to be led by Elon Musk and Vivek Ramaswamy. Oh, this is going to make some liberal heads explode. Together, these two wonderful Americans will pave the way for my administration to dismantle government bureaucracy, slash excess regulations, cut wasteful expenditures, and restructure federal agencies essential to the Save America movement. So this article here is basically the statement that President Trump put out last night over on Truth Social. In a statement on Tuesday night, President-elect Donald Trump announced that Vivek Ramaswamy and Elon Musk will lead the new Department of Government Efficiency, Doge. The ironic thing here is that they're creating a new government uh, agency to get rid of government agencies. But, but there's a twist to this one, and I'll get that, to that in a second. I'm pleased to announce that the great Elon Musk, working in conjunction with American patriot Vivek Ramaswamy, will lead the Department of Government Efficiency, Doge, Trump announced. Together, these two wonderful Americans will pave the way for my administration to dismantle government bureaucracy, slash excess regulations, cut wasteful expenditures, and restructure federal agencies. Essential to the Save America movement, this will send shockwaves through the system and anyone involved in government waste, which is a lot of people, stated Mr. Mr. Musk. Ramaswamy reacted to the news saying, we will not go gently at Elon Musk. Elon also put out there a threat to democracy. Nah. Threat to bureaucracy. Hell yeah. I added that hell yeah for emphasis, by the way. Must set on X, on X. It will become potentially the Manhattan Project of our time. Republican politicians have dreamed about the objectives of Doge for a very long time. To drive this kind of drastic change, the Department of Government Efficiency will provide advice and guidance from outside of government and will partner with the White House and Office of Management and Budget to drive large-scale structural reform and create an entrepreneurial approach to government never seen before. I look forward to Elon and Vivek making changes to the federal bureaucracy with an eye on efficiency and, at the same time, making life better for all Americans. Now, who, who wouldn't be for that? I mean, come on. Do you hate Trump enough to say, yeah, this, this sucks? Are there really people out there that have such severe TDS that they're like, nope, nope, this is, this is horrible, this is horrible. I mean, I'm sure those in the Washington Beltway are, are, are not happy. But other than that, outside of Washington, D.C., who, who would not be for this? 
Importantly, we will drive out the massive waste and fraud which exists throughout our annual $6.5 trillion of government spending. They will work together to liberate our economy, make the U.S. government accountable to we the people. In other words, giving the government back to the people. Their work will conclude no later than January 4th, 2026. So that's the twist I was talking about earlier. This agency's only going to be around for two years, a little more than two years. And it's designed to cut the size of government in half. Now, they just can't go around in, in terminating people from their positions, from their jobs, because then they'll get caught up in legal red tape for years and years and years. Because what will happen is, is somebody will get fired from their job, from their position in the government. They'll sue the Trump administration. And then the judge will say, well, you can't, you, can't fire, you can't fire this person because X. Even though last time I checked, the president was the chief executive of the country. His cabinet members answered to him, and those people that worked in those agencies that answered to those cabinet members, the answer to the president, the president has every right to fire who he wants to from government. But there'll be judges out there that say he can't. In fact, there'll be administrators out there that say he can't. So there's got to be a way to re reduce the size of government. And, and, and granted, you're going to lose some good people in this. Along with the, the bad seeds, quote unquote. But this is something that needs to be done. It ha it, this has needed to be done for years. And I'm happy to hear it. I'm happy to hear it's going to move forward. And I can't wait to see what happens. Uh, the work will continue no later than July 4, 2026. A smaller government with more efficiency and less bureaucracy. I'm always for, I'm all for less bureaucracy. Will be the perfect gift to America on the 250th anniversary of the Declaration of Independence. I'm confident they will succeed. Trump announced his intentions to create this department and get a hold on spending and government waste. So there you go. We're going to have Doge in the government. What do you guys think? I, I think this is a great idea. I think it's outside the box thinking. I love the fact that Elon's involved because with Elon involved, just like he did at Twitter when he purchased Twitter. How much staff did he get rid of at Twitter? How much bloat did he get rid of at Twitter? Could you imagine him doing the same thing in the federal government? So leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, while you're at it, please, again, take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Share this video out there with your friends and family. And with that, I will see you guys.